Hey, what's going on guys? Ghost it Ali here, back with another video, and today, I am going to do another unboxing for you guys. If you guys haven't seen my latest video about the Razor Death Adder Elite unboxing, go watch that before this one, because I got this in the setup too. And, um, today, I am going to be unboxing my Corsair Gaming K63. So this is the Corsair K63 with um, perky red backlighting, has uh, the Q software enabled, and it has Cherry MX Reds mechanical switches. So this is a um, cheaper version of a my older keyboard, the Corsair, I forget which one it is, but I had a Corsair, some Corsair keyboard, it was same kind of same layout and um yeah so this is the k6 the corsair gaming k63 you guys can see that up there and um as i said it has cherry mix reds uh per key uh rgb led or um not rgb red backlighting on this and um has q software enabled if you guys can see um so yeah let's get straight into the unboxing of this keyboard. But let's get straight into the unboxing. Here's my knife. Let's cut these tabs open. And um, close my knife. Just quickly put this aside. And um, tab. These percentages, um, how this is presented in the package is actually really nice. So once you open the package, first thing you'll get is your owner's manual and your warranty guide on this package never opened it because I don't need it and then right after that this is usually in a bag I'm just doing a re-unboxing for you guys and um, this is in a bag cables are back here all you get in this package is a is the keyboard and then the warranty guide and whatever this stuff is so um, all you gotta do is take this out usually it's in a bag so it's easier so up and over Here's the cable, and uh, it's a wired keyboard with macros you can use on this too, so let's put you to the side. So here is the Corsair Gaming K63 in red. So what I really like about this keyboard is that it has Cherry MX Reds, because I love these switches. They're linear, they're, the actuation force is not too hard, nor too, uh, too light. and um, Usually these things are really robust in construction. This is on all plastic, all plastic design. And uh, if you guys can see, there is no flex in the body. This has, uh, this board is actually really good. So for an all plastic design and it's not too bad of a price, this is not too bad. So on the front it has all the keys you need. So you got a, I'm gonna say 75% layout, no number pad. So it's a 10 keyless, it has every other button, F1 keys, escape, all your regular keys, your arrows, and then your uh, your six macros over in this corner. On the top corner, you have your volume control. So up, down, mute. You got your windows lock, your lighting button. If you just don't want to use the Corsair, um, IQ software and then on the left side you have your stop play pause your skip and uh, go backwards whatever you want to call those your uh, media keys so the cable right here has this nice robust design with this um, Corsair kind of looking well I don't know most Cor Corsair products they have this weird like bungee part to it and it's uh, pretty long for what it is. I know it's kind of tangled because I just put it back in there. So it's pretty long. I don't know. I'll put the put how long the cable is right here. And uh, if you guys can see that, that's right there. So on the back, you got your rubber feet on all sides. Then you got your flip-out feet. 
for if you want it elevated just a little bit now it's not too much they have rubber ends on this too so you can use this like this or just with that and then on the on the bottom I didn't notice this a while ago but it has the Corsair um, wrist rest um, I don't know what you call this like connectors for it so you can use the Corsair uh, the ones that are made from Corsair but the ones that I'm the one that I'm gonna be using I didn't do an unboxing on this because it's just a wristband but it's the razor I forgot what this one is it's I think it's just a razor uh, mouse mat whatever you want to call it got as a present too so I'm gonna use that this with this keyboard and um so yeah it's a pretty thin board for what I'm saying as a typical board it's not too heavy it's a good it's a good weight um, all the keys are feel pretty lubricated for the most part the stabilizers, the stabilizers feel pretty good and um, not too hard to press on these keys sound test So yeah, I love this keyboard because it has reds. But you, this, I think this comes in many other colors or many many different switches. But I just like reds on itself. So it's linear and uh, it's a good form factor. It's not too big like my other one. It had um, had some extra macros on the side and it had the number pads, so it was pretty long and uh, covered my desk pretty much most of the way. So yeah. Um, Every key, as I said, feels pretty lubricated. It doesn't feel too much like it's scratching or anything. And um, the board's pretty nice. As I said, no flex. And yeah, the cable's just a regular uh, rubbered cable, or whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, I'll put the link to this in the description if you guys want to see it or go get it yourself. Um, so yeah, let's uh, put this onto my desk setup and... Well, I'll show you the different lighting set settings they have in IQ and just on the regular board. So the keyboard is all set up now, and when you first get the keyboard, the lights are not going to turn on exactly. So there's a so you can either download the IQ software and do all this stuff on per key layout or whatever you want to do. But I'm going to show you what is on the board just itself. So well. It's pretty easily explained. All you gotta, all it is, is light change on how bright it is. Uh, why am I in rain? So usually this is just on static color. So you can change the brightness from this button. One, two, one, two, three, and then it's off. Or one, two, three, four. One, two, three, off. Yeah, one, two, three, off, and. Uh, it's a little brighter than it. It doesn't really show the brightness on camera, but it definitely gets a little brighter. And um, so there's that's the only thing that's on this board, I think, when I got it. But um, I made a profile that has two lighting effects that I really like to use on this. So uh, for my first one is this. Why aren't you working? So for mine is there is for. Mine, there is, I don't, the contrast on this is way too high, so once I can't, let me just try this out and see if this is better on this side. I don't know if you can see that, but it says there's typing lightning and rain. So it's perky layout, but I just leave it on all. So this is a full brightness. You can see it's, it's like rain, as you can see. But every time I type on something, the light, you can see the light light up from when I'm typing. Which I really like when I'm gaming, so it's, uh, well, you can't really see it when I'm pressing W, A, S, and D most of the time. You really can't see it, but it just looks cool when I'm not using my setup. And, um, yeah. So here's the wrist rest. This is how I usually play. And, yeah, I really like this keyboard for how it was, even though I got it as a present. I still really like this keyboard as, 
as is and i really recommend this to you guys if you guys want a cheaper or not really cheap cheap but it's like a cheaper version cheaper version of a really good board like corsair corsair has some really good boards so i would definitely check this board out i'll put it in the description below and um for more videos like this please subscribe leave a like and um yeah so iq software and this perfect match unless you're just like gonna use this on a playstation which i don't really recommend because i don't really like doing that it might as it defeats the purpose of having a keyboard so i really like this this would um this is a good choice if you don't want to spend over i think this is over under 60 or 80 dollars or something like that so i would recommend i'm gonna recommend this to you guys and put it all couple links in the description of where you guys can get this and so you guys can go and get this and um yeah this is a really good keyboard if you guys get it there's different uh variants i think it is but i got reds so yeah so as i said please subscribe leave a like and uh see you guys in the next video if you guys actually wait so if you guys haven't seen the video of this death adder elite uh unboxing Go and watch that video. I'll put that um, in the cards up here, or try to put it in the cards up here. Or if it's not, it's in the description too. Uh, yeah, I like this mouse. It's my main mouse right now. And then with this keyboard, perfect match with that bungee. That bungee is in this recording. So go and see that video. And yeah, so see you guys in the next video. Peace out.